Are you guys ready to meet our new living area? I think you're not, because I'm also not ready, but I'm going there anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm MP. We love the ocean, so we decided to make it our home by buying a massive wooden schooner, which is unfortunately sinking. A lot of people believe our boat is doomed, but we refuse to settle on that thought, and we are willing to do whatever it takes to bring it back to its former glory. Join us on this refurbishing journey and wish us luck! So for a very long time we have not had much light in our interior because we had all the walls and the tarp and everything so we actually needed light inside which we're going to go and get but let's go and have a look inside now as you can hear I also got a new chainsaw and you can imagine what's happening already so straight away you can see the amount of light inside and there aren't any lights on now let's have a look here probably know this already this is all open and then why is it all lights on this side as well look at that the tree here but this around looks like sapwood to us in my opinion I don't know this and definitely is yeah it's very white yeah this is definitely sapwood so we know we talked already about sapwood and how non-resistant it is so of course this is rotten and being replaced now so we're going to have a new Kilson as well part of the Kilson yeah not the whole thing just where it's bad and that's what we're working on now and what do you think of the skills that they're using, the tools that they're using to break they, it? They are so amazing. Honestly, we've been here for a while now and we still don't stop being amazed at what they do. And that shed, it's full of tools, it's like Mary Poppins' bag. It's true! Every time there's a new tool that comes out. we couldn't leave just one more standing so don't worry that's being taken care of Earthquake. That'd be a nice table. Wow. This was once our room. So fresh and bright, I love Imagine it. Imagine living in a country where it doesn't rain. Just leave it like this. <laughs> this is insane. Here we are cleaning the hole after the piece of our kilson was cut off. But what I want to show you now is that what came from the kilson is I'm balancing and I'm scared to let go to show you so <laughs> I'll show you. Yeah. 
So over here, we have two parts of Kielsen, so it has been fixed before. So up to about where I'm standing now was the original part and everything forwards had been replaced. And what's quite interesting, and it's quite nice to see that this is happening, is that our forward part, I'd say, what is it now, two meters of Kielsen, has buzano holes in it. So the little worms that come and crawl into your wood. So of course that doesn't mean that they came through our keel into the Kielsen, because there's air in between them. But it means that part of our boat is actually made out of reused wood, which I think is super cool. It's still very solid wood, which is most important. And it's just got some little details around the edges. And of course, this is the bit we had to cut away, but the rest is completely perfect. Can you imagine my surprise when I saw that we had to rid the worms in the dry part of the boat? It really didn't make sense, but of course, it is recycled. So even though we do have a completely new hull and probably new walls and everything, we have our Kielsen, which this is the original Kielsen we think made out of Angelique, which is super cool, super heavy, even the tiniest bit. And this forward part is a piece made out of reused wood. I must have a lot of history to them as well, I bet. Like, and we're just happy that there are these parts of our boat that we, yeah, I get attached to. Even if we have all this new wood, our steering wheel, the table, and all, all these little pieces of wood that are just still here. And, have this you know it's crazy so we had lots of equipment here like stoppers winches pulleys all that so that has all been taken down for now we are going to have to work on these as well these pillars as you can see they're not in such a good state so this is also going to be removed for now we're going to bring everything somewhere else so we can give it a good service let's have a look under here see we've got some of the stoppers got another one here the winches um, but for now let's take them off the boat so they don't take up any space I'm gonna give them down to MP and then these are gonna have to be removed these pillars here holding the roof up and so they're gonna be undone for now and then we can start rebuilding we're gonna keep the roof we're gonna keep this area just not those outside ones as you can see a lot of it here is also quite rotten Let's see there that's why that's going to be removed. Let's go straight down. Oh my gosh, that is the softest I've felt so far. So there's only this left, one stopper left on each side and one more winch on the other side. And I need to be careful because this is actually already coming down. If I put too much weight on here, it might fall. But we, at least we've got these poles, columns holding it up. And we've got the beams at the most aft beams already. And first, let's get this off. But these guys did the most, like they did everything. They did the curtains they took all the curtains down and soon as you can tell like even the corners there they've been catching a lot of rainwater and that's why we're doing this and these guys shouldn't have a problem making a new a new little living it space for us nice and clean oh my gosh I think this has ever been taken off it's good to take these things off now and then just to Make sure nothing freezes shut. Give that a good grease, oil. I got him. You want to swap? Aww. It's very tough. Your turn. Make it easy. No, it's still very difficult. I'm trying to prove girls out there that we can do it, but if I fail, I'm not setting a good example. But we can do it. Sometimes. Look through here, then you can see where it is. Yeah, but you made it easier. No, it's oh. not. <laughs> Look through this hole. And then you... you see it?
Why do you look so amazed? I'm shocked. Why are you shocked? Because I just found out that all this is going away to the floor right now. So what all this is, oh, there we go. You can see what's cracking already. So as you can see, this is rotten. This is cracked. There's a few dry cracks all over. So this is going down. that arrived you can see as it's 10 centimeters thick it's for beams so yeah some have been cut already I'll show you in a minute inside the workshop and what's really exciting is we have all starboard done the short beams and now these will go to port and that means we'll have all the structure for starting to plank our deck which is really really exciting so this is very very good news those have been cut already super quickly because they would just arrived and we already have all these and soon you can see the lines have been drawn already they will become our new beams for port side it's going to be cut now well we have some destruction happening there we also have some construction happening here. So we have Zach Cagnazzo making the template of the new here at the end of the So while our boat is being built, it's also very nice to see the progress on boats around us. This one has just been caught, but as you can hear, I know that corking is happening by the neighbors. This one has been caught, re corked a few new planks and has been epoxied over the corking. Now it's ready to be painted. As you can see, our space. MP, MP, you need to help above you. Ah. <laughs> so that's the template of our frame being measured. So we're using one third beam. My gosh, I've got like this calculus for boat parts. I mean one thing, but I say the other. But all our beams are being measured on the same template except some are a bit longer than the template, some are a bit shorter but the curvature of the beam on the template is always going to stay the same and it's a very emotional day because it's a more destruction of stuff we were hoping to keep but we're also rebuilding Is there a smile or a sad face under there? The neutral face A neutral face <laughs>
don't know if you remember if you saw how these beams were measured at least the height of these beams so the wall used to be here and the wall actually hadn't been touched since the last old beams were removed so we could actually lay these up against the old wall and know how high they had to be however that has been taken down on the other side so they busy me they measured the height from the floor to these beams uh, on this side and they're bringing it over to the other side and they're building a little support so all the beams can be laid on top of that one Port side has now also got most of its frames. There are four. So port side has also got most of its beams ready. This one has also been attached already. There's 14 now, and there are still one, two, three more to go. So now this boat is looking a lot more like a boat again, not just like a bathtub. So there, we've got them all, and port, we've got them all as well. So we're here, well there, they're in the engine room, I'm over here trying to get some cool shots of it but some of the beams are being fixed so as you can see, and maybe here, they've all been cut around here to be able to remove the deck so we're actually putting this part on which is going to attach to where the engine hatch starts so that's being cut and measured for now. When it's on, of course, I'll try and get in there, but when it's on, I'll show you a close shot of it so you can see what it's like. But that's going to be bolted onto the old part of frame because only the tips were old. It's going to be like a double frame and this is going to be also holding up the port part next to the engine hatch. So a bunch of timbers were delivered about maybe 10 minutes ago. There's not much of it left. Let's go look at the workshop.
So we're almost done with the beams in the boat. We've got about three or four ones remaining. Uh, the reason why we still need three or four more forwards is these ones were all the short ones. We started it here and it goes all the way onto the beam shelf against the shear plank, screwed onto the old beam with three uh, half inch threaded bars with nuts and washes. We've got one here, two, three, four, five, six beams done exactly like this, going all the way to the transom. Now we've got one, two, three beams, which are gonna be four beams, or at least big beams going more forwards. So here you can see the last one we put in is here. Well, the most forward one is here. And we've still got one, two, and three full beams that are still old, not resting onto the beam shelf, sorry for brightness, which are gonna be fixed. starboard side there's only one more beam and needs to be we're going to completely replace it that's this one as you can see it's kind of rotten all the way through due to the rain infiltration uh, it's going to bridge the gap from there to there and then starboard side is going to be fully full of beams and then let's head over to the port side still got one two three four to go i think over here Oh, it's even taller than you. It's taller than me? <laughs> I'm 162. So, it's probably 170? Yeah. <laughs> so, before we head off, we would like to thank and welcome the people who have joined us on Patreon this week. So, thank you so much. Blue Gunk, Offer, Julian, and Carlos. And also for the PayPal donations, thank you so much, Randall, Jonathan, Jeff, and Robert. Thank you so much. 